You're watching EAC News. Thanks for joining us. Bodies of Mexican migrants who died in a sweltering trailer truck during a failed smuggling attempt in San Antonio last month were repatriated on Wednesday so their families can mourn them at home. 25 other victims from Mexico out of 53 victims will be brought back to their places of origin, according to the Mexican government, who will cover the repatriation expenses. Two flights with 16 bodies landed at the Toluca Airport in Mexico State, departing from San Antonio, and a third one is expected. Among those repatriated, there were some of the youngest victims, Giovanni and Sai Oliveres, and their cousin Misael Oliveres, all of them from Veracruz. Coming from a small town in that eastern state, Alaquilapan, Teofilo and Yolanda Olivares told reporters weeks ago about the painful choice to let their children go on June 21st following in the footsteps of other cousins who migrated eight months ago to the United States. WhatsApp messages between Sai and his father that read, Sai, yes, thank you. We are going to make a great effort to be back with the little ones to be able to work, pay for everything and do everything we can. We will try our best. Valencia, are you going to be let out? Sai, apparently they will return for us shortly. Valencia, do you have shoes? Sai, yes, I got some Sai. 8. Valencia, what is happening? June 28, 2022. Valencia, Sai, talk to me, son. Valencia, son, talk to me. This was the last time they had contact with each other before Valencia found out the sad news about his son. Hermelina Marteda, Masael mother, said her son had permissions to go beyond the family's shoemaking tradition. Teofilo said the family agreed to pay a smuggler 200,000 pesos for each of his sons to be taken to the United States. He added he had to pawn his home to make the pavement.